Hey guys, welcome back. So you may remember we built this uh, mechanical fuel pump delete pulley, or not pulley, bracket a while back. And the idea was you just unbolt your water pump, bolt this up, and it allows you to delete the uh, mechanical pump and go with an electric water pump. And I made two of these. This is one of them right here. The other one we got kind of mocked up. We're about to do some welding. So I've got this hose barb I bought. It's, I think it's an inch and a quarter, basically the stock size hose barb. And I've got it set up with a spacer and we're just gonna weld it on there. We could go AN, so I've got a spare. I'm gonna sell this one. So whoever buys this, you could weld an AN on here or just another hose barb, whatever you want. But uh, for now, we're just gonna do a hose barb. Maybe in the future we'll do AN. But uh, yeah, it's basically ready to go. The only thing we had to do, this hole here, we had it drilled a quarter inch when it was manufactured. I didn't want the other company to do the threads on this. I wanted to do it myself. So I had them do a quarter inch hole, which there's a reason. So it's actually an M10 by 1.25, but, and this will make sense. What we did was we had them put a quarter inch hole and I grabbed a quarter inch collet, threw a quarter inch drill bit in, and I clamped the pulley in, or the bracket in here. And I used the drill bit to come down and find the center of that hole. And of course a quarter inch bit fits in a quarter inch hole nicely. So once that was good, all I had to do is retract, swap out my quarter inch drill bit for the proper size, which is like an 8.7 millimeter. And then I could drill it to tap drill size and then use the tap and tap the hole, which is what I did. And that turned out great. So that was pretty easy. And that got us our threads in here. And I did a test fit with the pulley. It goes right in and bolts up. So that's all looking good. This side works because it's just a hole. The pulley actually threads into the block or the bolt does. So, looks like this is gonna work. So anyway, we got our tungsten swapped out on the TIG because we're about to do it some aluminum. I took a wire brush and wire brushed all this and we're gonna tack it and then weld it and hopefully this goes okay. So, bring you guys back in a bit. Well, here it is. She's still smoking hot. Just got done welding and shut the welder off. So, I think once we wire brush that weld, it'll look pretty good. I'm not saying that's my best, but I really didn't get this perfect. I just cleaned it up pretty good and welded it. I think it'll be watertight, but I uh, hope so. Anyway, she's welded. I'll show y'all once we, we're gonna let it air cool for a bit. But once it cools down, we'll wire brush it and take a look. All right, so we got done cleaning up the weld. Not bad, seen better, but it's not bad. Pretty happy with that. That looks like it's gonna be solid. So probably gonna go check, make sure it fits on the car and Maybe I'll just weld that other one too while we're already set up. We'll see. Just got done welding the second one. And it turned out about like the first one. Maybe a little better. I think the weld's a tiny bit better. But looks solid. Let the sucker cool down and we'll clean it up a little and this one will be for sale. Alright, so we clean this thing up, let it cool down. Man, this one turned out excellent. Now the hard part is, do I put this one on my car or do I sell this one? Because this one definitely turned out better. Anyway, super happy with that. Wasn't that bad. <clears throat> Guess when you get the prep work, I prepped this one a little better and it definitely welded better. Alright, so we just bolted this up just to see how it fits. The uh, water pump delete pulley. And it looks nice. So the only provision that I didn't really, this is intentional, but this thing has a pivot that connects on the factory water pump and lets you swing this pulley to adjust. I didn't put anything on here for that because it would just add weight and complexity and I figured it probably won't be that hard to tension the belt once. So that's the only downside. <clears throat> on the plus side, I can probably remove some of this metal back here to save weight though. But anyway, it looks like it works fine. There's plenty of room here to put a hose clamp or uh, whatever you want to do. No problems with that. Belt clears, belt tightens. You got, you know, I can, you can see I got plenty of range to move the pulley that way to tighten the belt more. So, functionally, I don't see any problems. I guess the only thing that could be a problem, which it isn't, but uh, this poking up, the head actually doesn't come far enough. So there's actually a gap. I'm sure, this would be about impossible to film. But there's a gap there. Not a lot, but there's some. So if I make another batch of these, I'll probably have that flat right there just because keep it away but it's not an issue either way so overall looking nice uh pretty happy with how that turned out and 
all I gotta really do is throw a gasket on it and bolt it down and it should be final installed. So hope y'all enjoyed this and until next time, y'all take it easy.